Hi guys, I'm Jess, or welcome to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Jess. Um, today's exciting. I think I'm always saying that again in my videos. I have new makeup from Emco Beauty because they literally just dropped their new Mother's Day collection literally a couple of days ago at Woolworths. So yesterday I went down to Woolies and got myself a big bag full of makeup. I'm going to show you the collection. It's a big collection. You might want to grab a snack, a drink, your cat, your dog, your mum. It's going to be a longish video, I think. I'm going to demo it. I've got pretty much all of the makeup components to this. Because there was another thing, but I wasn't really quite into it. But, you know. Um, they had a sale on it. It was like 20%. So, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to start showing you the products. Why I like it, or hopefully will like it. And then, yeah, get like some colour onto my face. Okay, okay. First thing first is the Emco Beauty, well it's all Emco Beauty face and eyeshadow palette. Looks like that. Really, really pretty. You have three highlighters and the rest are super duper pretty eyeshadows. Now this was, they were all 20% off. It wasn't advertised on Woolies or on their website. Um, it's only in their limited edition range. It was 20% off. So if they're not stocked yet at your local Woolies, but hopefully they will be in the next few days or so, but luckily mine was. That's that palette so that I will be demoing. It's super pretty. This blush palette, absolutely cannot stand the packaging. I think it looks cheap. It does come with their magnetic closure, but this, I cannot stand and I hate the design of the flowery packaging i just think it looks childish and it's meant to be like for mother's day i don't know but if you take it away like it looks really pretty this was originally 15 dollars but i paid 12 dollars so now we'll be demoing that as well they have a lip gloss trio that was 15 dollars but oh no the lip gloss trio actually it was four dollars each they're just like as individuals really pretty colors so four dollars each on special so they're normally five dollars i love the packaging quite sturdy also have it's meant to be a lipstick trio but i've already lost one of the damn lipsticks um so yeah i've got the nudie one and the pinky one i've misplaced the peachy one uh the lipstick trio i believe was 15 dollars brought down to 12 but these remind me so much of the mac packaging so pretty is the brush set i wasn't originally going to get it but because it was on special i was like need but yeah that's what they look like so we're going to use them comes with a little bag so yeah these were 20 bucks brought down to 16 so i thought overall not a bad price for an introductory price i'm pretty sure all right i've zoomed you in i like the packaging on this it's a nice plastic um it feels sturdy can't open it doesn't come with a mirror but that's fine i've got like a fluff why do i always get like invisible fluff when i'm filming why is that a thing i feel like that's a youtuber thing they actually feel a lot nicer than the mermaid brush set that they came out with. So you get five, one. I always do like a little pinch test. There's no pull out. Is that what it's called? Anyway, they feel super sturdy. Like the ferrule feels nice. They don't actually feel that cheap. I wasn't originally going to get them because they looked really like kiddish. But then I'm like, eh, I will get them. So yeah. Now these aren't named are they no but it's cruelty free and it's also a vegan so that's good to know it's taking that peachy shade there as my transition picks up i'm not doing anything too too crazy because i am going out to Cures tonight for drinks. 
these brushes feel really actually quite nice. I do feel like there's two kind of similarish colors like where is it that one seems to be like a lighter version of that one but we'll see how it goes you're not going to see much of that one I don't think I'm going to take this dusty mauve color The blending are quite nice. The brush feels really soft. It's not scratchy at all. It's actually not a bad colour. Like it's a light colour, but obviously like that's what it is. Um, I'm next going to take that colour. Try out that brush. not the most pigmented but it does blend it's not my favorite color I think it's actually blending out better on this eye for some reason I don't know if it's my skincare that has done it but it is looking better on that eye but we're gonna go in with that color They do blend. I do think that eye looks better, but they do blend and they're layering on top of each other quite well. I'm going to go in with a shimmer. I'm going to take that one. Pretty. No, so the shimmers are nice. The mattes are quite nice, but you have to build them up because they're quite light. And this is just going on dry. That's pretty on my wet it though. Yeah, I like that. For some reason, I can't get that eye to be even to that eye. And it's annoying me. <laughs> I think that's going to have to do. Um... But I don't mind it. The shimmer's really pretty. I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to take that Dusty Mary again. Might ruin it. <laughs> but I'm just playing so it doesn't really matter. I love that brown. Okay, now I'm going to tidy up with that. That's looking better. The eye looks coming together. I'm now happy with it. All right, so for brow bone highlighter, this is actually really difficult to open. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the actual face highlighter. Ooh. The inner corner of the eye, I'm going to do the same. Hmm. I actually like this look now. That's good because I'm visually doubting myself. Now for the cheek palette, this is the... I'll zoom you out a little bit. Um, this is the Blush and Glow palette, but it's more like a blush and contour palette. It's just like blushes with a bit of shimmer. I'm going to try out the brush. What colour? I might. Oh, 
she pigmented. They kind of remind me of Colourpop, the blush set. That is actually a nice colour. I might tone it down though a little bit with that. Is it like a tawny colour? They are pigmented. Alright, so I'm back to using this because I want to use the highlighters. In this, it's like a gold colour, a rose gold colour and like a more bronzy colour. I might go with the rose gold colour. See how she looks. Pretty. Definitely pretty. I might top it off with that gold. Yeah, the gold is the more blindy one. That's a really pretty highlight. I like that. Now I'm going to apply it as this. I can't read the shade, but just your standard Moby Toby Brown nude, which I love. I love a Moby Toby Brown nude and my description of it. I really like that shade a lot. They're super creamy, super pigmented. I don't know if they're matte. I don't know. Um, I'm going to apply a lip gloss over the top. What shade? And so I've got that one, that one, and that one. Maybe that one. I think it's going to be like more like lip creams. They are in fact a gloss. Not sticky, nice amount of pigment. Hmm. This palette I actually do quite like. I had to work with it a little bit to get the look that I wanted. Um, it's a different formula than the other two palettes that I have from MK Beauty, but I like it. I love the highlighters in it. Um, the look I actually came up with is actually quite decent, I think. Um, if you can get this on sale, it would be a bargain. Better than paying 20 bucks, in my opinion. I actually love the uh, blush palette. I just don't like the packaging, as I said, but if you ignore that, it's a really pretty blush palette. The lip glosses are quite nice and the brushes are actually a standout for me they work quite well i might actually try the eyeshadow palette with different eyeshadow brushes though in another video maybe to see how it works and this set's going to be around for four weeks so if you want to grab it hop down to your local woolies and yeah the lipsticks really pretty packaging reminds me of mac as i said not too bad 15 bucks for a trio of them and yeah overall a really nice little collection like i love supporting aussie brand kind of reminds me of like a color pop collection or a wet and wild one but here in australia that we can easily access so that's awesome um yeah if you like these kind of videos don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out as a small youtuber don't forget to hit the like button and i'll see you guys in another video soon bye